leaders aren't that different like you may think. I know growing up, I always thought leaders were completely different from me, and there would be no way I could become a leader one day. It always seemed like that, that far-fetched reality for me that it could never happen. I remember when I was about 12 to 14 years old that I told my youth minister at the time that, hey, I really want to start leading. I want to lead the Bible study, lead a prayer, lead some songs at worship service. And it was all because I wanted to start becoming a leader. And my youth minister turned to me and said, you already are a leader. And I was totally confused. And I said, well, I don't do those things. And he told me, well, you are, you lead by example. Yes, you may not do those things that leaders, quote unquote, do, but you lead by example. You show what it is to be a Christian. And it took me years to really understand what he meant by leading by example. But that is the first characteristic when it comes to actually leading people. You don't lead people instantly by having a group of 50 people that you're in charge of and you're telling them what to do and you're delegating work out to them and all the other aspects of what a leader are. It first starts with you leading by example. Simply leading by example allows you to show those leadership qualities and the qualities that other people need to have around you because you are being that correct example. You are doing the work to at minimum a sufficient standard, but more than likely to an excellent standard, a above par standard. You are doing just a, an outstanding job when it comes to the work that you're doing or where, whatever thing you are a part of. You are that ultimate example that everybody needs to look up to. And that's exactly how leadership starts. But like I mentioned at the beginning, leaders aren't that much different than you think. Of course, it seems difficult to get into, but starting as an example is the first step of being a leader. But once you get into that leadership role, you realize it's just who you are. Of course, there's things you have to work on, emotional intelligence, learning how to delegate, learning how to lead up, learning how to lead without dictating, getting people to be excited about a new ongoing project or getting started with more work, or maybe they have to work late hours and working with them, working with their schedules. There's all sorts of things that leaders and managers have to do that aren't glamorous. And of course, you're going to learn those over time. But realistically, the people that are in place that are leaders already, they are or were where you're, where at it, where you're at right now. They had to get started and figure things out. And even if they've been in that position for a long time, they still may have some of that trouble where they're not sure what to do next. And even if you are a young leader, you can still give guidance there. Don't be afraid to give that guidance. Of course, be humble about it. You are the younger leader coming in, but you can still give that guidance. But I want you to keep in mind and of course, give respect to these people that have been leaders for a lot longer than you, but they're not much different than you. They all have their struggles. They all have their days that they can't be quite on top of their game, that maybe they're not going to be the best example of a leader. Maybe they're not going to live up to the, the things that they know that leaders should do. Don't give them a hard time about that because that does happen sometimes. But realize that no leader is perfect. No matter how perfect you think somebody may be, no matter how much you look up to this person, this leader, they have the same struggles that you have, that I have, that we all have. So don't think that you have to be somebody special, that you have to be somebody that never fails because leaders fail all the time. But just realize as you're trying to become a leader and as you're trying to grow as a leader, if you already are someone a leader, that the people that are great leaders, the people that have been leaders for years and decades, they have struggles. They're still normal. They're, they're not any different than you. It's just they've been doing it for longer and they've had more practice. That's the only difference. So don't be afraid to get started with leadership. Going back to my story, be that example. 
of course, find ways to actually do the work and do the things that leaders actually do and start applying them in your life and trying to work on those things that you can is obviously in the workplace is a little harder to lead in every opportunity because you don't have that chance. And sometimes you just have to do your job, but still find those opportunities where you can take the time to learn how to lead, that you can be that example. Because I promise, whether you've been a leader for only a couple of months or you've never been a leader at all, you aren't much different than those people have been leading for 10, 20, 30 years. They just have a little bit more experience. So I say this to encourage you. And for those of you that are seasoned leaders, I also encourage you to listen to those younger leaders because they have that fresh perspective. They know where people are coming from, especially if they're a, a younger by age leader. They know what the younger people are looking for. An alarming statistic to me that I found on Forbes is that 75% of the workforce is going to be millennials or younger by the age 2025 or by the year 2025. So our workforce is going to start being a lot younger here in the next few years. Of course, of course I'm recording this here in 2021. So in four years, we're going to have 75% millennials or younger. That's crazy that we're going to have that generation, which I think right now is about 38 to 40 years old is where millennials sit at down to about 28 or 30, somewhere in there. Uh, there's about 10 year span, 10, 12 year span there, something like that. Uh, but anyways, that's the generation that's coming up. So if you're that seasoned leader, listen up to those people that are a little bit less seasoned in their leadership, or maybe they haven't quite became that leader yet and help guide them. Because as a leader, that's the thing that you do as well. You help people develop themselves. So go out there and lead whichever way you are, whether you're the seasoned or the unseasoned leader. But realize you as the unseasoned leader, that those seasoned leaders aren't much different than you. They also had those same struggles as you. And it's okay to fail. Because if you're not failing, you're not trying. You're not pushing yourself hard enough. So I encourage you as well to go out there and fail. And that's where you'll find your triumphs. That's where you'll find your breakthroughs to help you be that better leader.